I start to just look at myself and not like myself, and that's when, yeah, it sort of materialized into an eating disorder, which it's really like what people don't understand an eating disorder is like, it's like a retreat from life. Like you're afraid to fail or you're afraid to be unacceptable or bad at anything. So you put your energy, your whole self into something that will kind of, yeah, give you a reason for existing and a justification. And, um, and it also takes all your energy, so it distracts you. You just don't have time for friends, for other projects. So all the things that I did when I was a kid, I just kind of stopped doing them when that happened. It sounds exhausting. As, yeah. as an illness, it just yeah. sounds wearing. It's, that's what it is. It's a, yeah, it's supposed to be. You want something that just dominates your whole focus. And, yes. But it's also like another thing people don't really get about those kind of disorders, like addictions, it, it, it's... It's kind of a life boy. Mm. It's like it's it's helping you deal with the pain of existing. It's yeah. Like it's not like people demonize it being like it's this terrible thing and it's trying to kill you. It's it's actually the opposite. You're just trying to find something that will make you feel okay about. It's, it's an awful yeah. lot of yeah. um, uh, you know, emotional uh, anxiety for an 11 year old. It's hard, you know, it's hard <laughs> being 11, 12, and getting into your teens anyway. But to have that on top of it, it feels like a tsunami. Even listening to you describe it. I guess so. Yeah, but that that was how I managed yeah. it really. Yeah. And, and I'm going to make, mention Harry Potter now because the, the, these books yeah. and, and reading, what a, what a beautiful way out of yeah. the darkness. Yeah. Uh, and reading offered you that. And Harry Potter as a, as a series brought you to a place that, uh, of escape. Is that right? Is, was, was that your oasis? Well, I mean, yeah. Like, uh, and I don't like to... Because people can make it too sweet and too neat that, oh, you found this and you recovered. And it's like... Yeah. It was, it was definitely the escape oh, for oh, absolutely. me. It's not a cure, yeah, yeah. But, but an escape. Yeah. A distraction? Exactly. And that's yeah. what I remember. That's when I wrote to J.K. Rowling because I was like, you don't understand what a big deal it is to me that there's just, just, there's just one thing in the world that can take my mind off this obsession and this illness, and it was Harry Potter. Um, and that's what I always say. Like, when people say to me now, like, how do you recover from these things? It's not... You can't just take away the thing you're... Because you're clinging to it for life and for your sense of identity. Yes. Uh, you have to fall in love with something else. You have to, like... Because yeah. love kind of gives you the courage to, 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 to be something different and to fail. And I, I think I started to fall in love with acting and I fell in love with the Harry Potter world and just things that I was like, I started to imagine more for myself. So it's not like this uh, uh, brave, heroic choice to recover. It's that your energy gets diverted into something else sure. and you start to believe, oh, I, ca I might be worth more and I might be able to do this. It was kind yeah. of a gutsy thing to write to your literary <laughs> hero, heroine, yeah. uh, in, the, in the form of J.K. Rowling, and she wrote back to you. She did. Which it was, not it's all amazing. authors do. No, I, I, no, they don't. Uh, she only wrote to a handful of people, and it was a handwritten letter. It was like truly amazing. Moment. And what did she yeah. say in that letter? Uh, Roughly speaking. Um, I mean, that she understood me, yeah. that she felt these things as a woman too, especially as a woman, and that, but she, she really focused on my talent. That's what she, yeah. like she said, you've so much in you, you're vibrant and you've so much imagination and you feel about what, like, acting the way I feel about writing and, um, very and gener that's... Very generous sort of thing so to do. Generous and, and and did so generous and so caring. And that caring. would care that much yeah. about a random 11-year-old when she's so busy and so many people want her time. Like, that was really, really special. And yeah. you started to exchange letters, is that right, then, at yeah, that point? Yeah, like pen, pen pals. pals. Full-on well, pen pals. Well, if you're going to have a pen pal... <laughs> <laughs>